Welcome back to the channel everyone. It looks like Charles Gasparino is up to no good again, trying to manipulate the AMC stock. But I want to show you just how quickly we managed to prove him wrong. I've also got a massive free data source that I want to show you today. So stay tuned and let's make some money. But guys, before I dive into the video, I just want to give a massive shout out to the 3,800 of you that are currently ding that notification bell, because you guys are always the first to watch a new video as soon as it's released. So guys, be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell if you haven't already so that you don't miss another video just like this one. And also just a quick one before I dive in with the key information, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the links in the description below to get four free stocks worth up to $3,350 with Moomoo at the moment. And be sure to follow me on Moomoo when you sign up. And also to be in with a chance of winning $600, all you have to do is join the Patreon, also linked in the description below, and I'll be drawing the winner on the 28th of August. And now I want to dive straight in with the key information. So, Charles Gasparino tweeted saying a source of mine just happened to be taking in a movie at an AMC theatre in New York City. And no, he was not early. And that apes accuse others of manipulating stocks. Shake my head. He then posted the attached photo of a completely empty AMC theatre screen with the following text saying going to see the new blockbuster hit at an AMC theatre and no, we're not early. So it looks like this photo was sent to him on Twitter by somebody called Dio Jeans. If you go to Dio Jeans or at Wall Street Cynics Twitter, you can actually see that he tweeted the exact same thing from my son about an hour ago. This was at the AMC Kips Bay to see Free Guy, the new blockbuster hit. So I really want to specify for you to bear in your mind that his son sent him this text about an hour ago saying no, we're not early. Somebody did some excellent due diligence here. Diogenes posted this tweet at 2.21 on August the 14th. About an hour ago would make that around 20 past one or maybe half past one. Let's even say it's 2 p.m. and he only received the text about 21 minutes ago. The first showing of Free Guy at AMC Kips Bay didn't start until 4.15 p.m and therefore he was around two hours and 15 minutes early, potentially even three hours early to the film. So really, it's no wonder that the AMC theatre was empty at that time because he was almost three hours early to the film. What idiot sends a text saying we're not early when they're three hours early? Ryan Rigg had some suspicions, so he decided to look into James S. Chanos, one of the big hedge funds that is currently shorting AMC, or one of the owners of a big hedge fund that's currently shorting AMC. James Chanos owns Cynicos Associates. He then searched Cynicos Associates in the SEC register and look what he found. In the SEC register, we can see the website address for Cynicos Associates is cynicos.com. If you then look for their backup website or their publicly available social media platform, it's none other than twitter.com forward slash Wall Street Cynic. And therefore, the person posting this stupid tweet about a three hour early empty AMC theatre is none other than James S. Chanos. Kinecos Associates has around $2.3 billion in assets under management, and James Chanos has publicly been on record saying that he has an AMC put position of around 1% of his net assets, so around a $20 million AMC put position. So therefore, it's no wonder that James Chanos and Charles Gasparino are trying to manipulate the AMC stock and push it lower. James Chanos and his firm Kinecos Associates are both registered with the SEC and therefore I'm pretty sure this could be classed as market manipulation. Ryan Rigg actually CC'd in Gary Gensler into his tweet and asked if it would be considered a violation. Therefore it would not surprise me if James Chanos and Kinecos Associates are just about to land themselves in some very hot water. I also wanted to give you one ape's thoughts on what will cause the AMC squeeze and how it's going to play out. In order to understand what I'm going to write, there are three things that cannot be refuted and are hard facts. Number one, the US printed 40% of all money in existence in the last 18 months. When a hedge fund gets margin called and cannot meet the required liquidity, the DTCC is going to loan the hedge fund cash to cover or close its short positions and keep the hedge funds long positions as collateral. Which leads to number three. The US government or US economy does not want a fire sale of our entire stock market, leading to massive 20 to 60% drops in the overall market. Due to hedge funds hitting the infinite money glitch and getting caught, they want to keep global market integrity and causing Apple, Google, Amazon or any stock to lose 30% isn't right just because some hedge fund got too greedy. That leads me to my point. If you believe in those three bullet points and you stick to logic, 
and macro market integrity country level type thinking that you could agree. AMC and GameStop will close on a regular day at an arbitrary number. It could be $80, $300, it could even be $800. I don't know. But when you wake up one morning, the stock will be up 20x to 30x its last night's previous value. Some astronomical number in the pre-market hours and it will stay there or near it. And the reason is, is that the government does not want a fire sale where every single person in America can sell their entire portfolio of blue chip stocks or any stock and dump their entire portfolio into AMC and then panic sell on a 30% dip or paper hand minimizing taxable gains for the government. Basically, this ape is hypothesizing that if AMC squeezes in market hours, then people will start bailing out of their portfolios, causing a market crash and buying AMC during market hours. And then on any small dip, they might end up selling their AMC and not making enough taxable profit for the US government. But if AMC finishes the after hours here and opens at the pre-market here, people won't have any opportunity to sell off their entire portfolio and jump into AMC as it's running up. It'll have already done the complete run up after the market close and before the pre-market opens. He says it's much easier to tax 20 trillion in gains from 4 million apes than it is to have the market crash from everyone buying in dirt cheap. Anything below $800 is dirt cheap to him. Crash the market and then the government has to collect taxes on the 20 million paper hands, which might only be $25 trillion. Basically, he says it's way easier for the US government to tax $20 trillion from 4 million people than it is to tax $20 trillion from 20 million people. If too many people FOMO in, they help crash the market. Plus, when they paper hand AMC, they'll probably buy back into the market, losing their gains with more margin calls and more sudden sell-offs. Hence, it's easier to tax 4 million apes that will diamond hand. This is how the government could control or collect back 40% of the money printed and minimize crazy inflation that's coming. A MOAS where the government gets all of its tax money. He says also, if the hedge funds were to gain $20 trillion, the government wouldn't see much of it. Through every write-off, shell company, offshore account, and paying a consultant in the Caribbean $200 million for some consulting. He reckons we'll see the pre-market jump of all jumps. He says this isn't a promise, no dates, just a guess from a crayon sniffing ape, not financial advice. And finally, there's this post from Spartan on Reddit. He said, I made an application to prepare you for everything you need for the MOAS. Interactive reverse repo, daily treasury data, inflation data, fail to delivers, short volume, charts, and a function to allow you to analyze and sort historical data and many more. Website link in the comments. And I'll be sure to link this Reddit post and his website in the description below. It's free and you can just go straight to it. I'll open it up now so you can see for an example. It starts off by showing you the chart pulled from TradingView and some details such as their income, their beta, their dividend yield, previous close, 52 week high and lows, and much more. It then shows you the ratio and the number of put and call options and the open interest for all call options from the option chain as well. He's also got the exchange reported short volume and the exchange reported short interest and the daily amount of short volume going through the exchanges. He's also got the reported fail to delivers and their T plus 35 delivery date. He's also included the daily reverse repos. And as you can see from last week on the Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, there was over $1 trillion in reverse repos each day. He's also included the daily treasury cash balance. And as you can see, the US treasury has been hemorrhaging cash since around February of 2021. And obviously, as they have not extended the debt ceiling, this cash will be running out very soon as they cannot print more. Currently, the Treasury is losing 20 to $30 billion a day and has around $350 billion to spare. That means in probably 10, 11, maybe 12 days, maybe 20 at a push, the US Treasury is going to be out of cash. He's also shown the monthly inflation data and even color coded it. The closer you get to brown, the higher the monthly inflation is. As you can see here, we're currently mirroring the 2008 inflation data just before the 2008 recession. Not great. I personally think this is a brilliant website to keep up to date with some AMC data. It's free and you don't have to register. As you saw me, I just followed the link and it takes you straight to the website. Guys, be sure to let me know down in the comments below what you think about Charles Gasparino trying to manipulate the AMC stock once again. Also, let me know what you think about this data tool. 
Do you think it's really good? And do you think I should start including it in my daily update videos? And just a quick reminder, if you haven't already, be sure to check out the links down in the description below to get four free shares worth up to $3,350 with Moomoo. You can also check out my new merch and also join the Patreon and become part of the team. And as always, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my others. Alternatively, subscribe to the channel and ding that notification bell because that way you'll be alerted when I upload a new video. Cheers.